Hello everyone and welcome to a little discussion video I have for you guys. Uh, so this topic that I'm going to be talking about, it's a topic I've had sitting on my desktop for a while now and I had the script all written out and everything like that but it's a bit old and through the recent chapters my opinion has changed so there are three people I used to suspect of being the possible leader of V and that's what I will be talking about today but as of the few chapters, I don't necessarily believe that none of these three will actually be the leader of V. But since I had already written it out and everything like that, I decided to present it and uh, see what you guys think. And uh, let me know who you guys believe um, is the leader of V, if there is even one that exists. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And without any further ado, let's get into this discussion video. So, um, like I said, I had written this a while back, a good while back, um, and I basically came up with three people whom I presume to be uh, the possible leader of V, if there even is one, which I do believe that there is a, a leader of V. There's usually a, a, a main guy operating these big or organizations in these kind of series, so I wouldn't be surprised if there is one, but if there is one, that's fine. But I just wanted to show you guys the three people I used to think um, were potential leaders, were potentially um, one of them being the leader of E. So the first one is uh, Suneyoshi Washu, or Suneyoshi Washu, my apologies. Uh, I just call him Old Man Washu, um, just because he's the old man. And um, so this guy right here is the chairman of CCG. And he is also the father of Yoshitoki Washu, um, who is the father of Matsuri Washu, whom we all do not like, right? Um, so this old guy, we've seen him every now and then, uh, plenty of times, uh, several times in the story of Tokyo Ghoul so far. Um, but up to this point, there's hardly nothing we know about him. He's even more vague than Arima himself. Um, all we know is that he is the, the chairman of the CCG and he we've seen him in just moments where he has to make a decision. But other than that, we've got no backstory or no sense of nothing uh, when it comes to what kind of character he is and what kind of background he comes from. So, um, you know, he's very mysterious. He's very considering the fact that his, you know, character is so vague. Um, and with the reveal, the recent reveal that there are uh, V members in the CCG and V practically owns the CCG from what we've gotten, um, could it be, you know, since Suniyoshi is the chairman, could it be that he is one of the high leaders in the V organization or could he actually be the leader of V organization? That's one thing I, I decided to propose when I was writing this. Um, another thing that kind of alludes or points to him possibly being the leader of V is his relationship with with Arima um, it seems that he has a pretty close relationship with Arima um, because we know that he personally admitted Arima as a rank 3 investigator and from the series so far he's the only one we know who has addressed Arima by his first name Kisho when you see him here in this panel um, towards the end of, uh, of Tokyo Ghoul, he addresses him by Kisho, um, by his first name. So it seems like they do have a, a close relationship and he has known Arima for quite some time. Um, uh, you know, bringing this back to the reveal of V and no, now that we know that Arima is a member of V, uh, could there be some connection between V and Suneyoshi as well? Is there something along the lines of Suneyoshi? being a possible member of V as well. I think that that might add to it. Um, and I, I just thought that was pretty interesting. Uh, another thing is, besides that, is um, despite the fact that he's, you know, old and everything, um, and we probably will never see him in combat because he seems he seems old. He just seems like an old guy. Um, it is known and it, and it has been said that he was a formidable opponent and a very strong character in the in the past i guess in his prime um it's mentioned by um investigator marud or marude i don't know how you pronounce his name um that he was able to subdue triple s rate ghouls so this guy this guy 
was incredibly strong if he could take on and capture and control kill um triple s rate ghouls um pretty much he's on par with arima maybe even surpasses arima um he's even nicknamed the demon um as you can see here in this panel um Marud mentions that and um, uh, investigator Yui also mentions that as well. He They call him the demon. So I guess it's a name that goes around the CCG for Sune Yoshi Washu, which is pretty interesting. Um, and if this is true, you know, if his strength, if his strength um, is on par or even, well, if it was on par or it surpassed Arima, then he was freakishly strong, you know, and with this whole thing going on of Arima possibly being a half goal or something along the lines of like a super soldier type of deal, um, could it be that Suniyoshi is possibly the same way if he is a member of V? And also, from what we know, Arima is really the one and only person in the CCG who can take on triple S ray ghouls and, and below. Um, by himself if he wanted to and from what we know Suniyoshi seems like he could he could do that by himself as well before so could it be possible and with also knowing that um Arima was raised in the Sun Lake Garden could it be possible that Suniyoshi maybe taught Arima when he was in the Sun Lake Garden maybe maybe not I don't know um reason why I don't believe him to be the the um a possible leader of the CCG anymore is his relationship with Yoshitoki, his son, it seems like more along the lines of he is the chairman of the CCG and he, you know, he is the main, you know, the main guy in the, in the Washu clan. But, um, I don't necessarily believe that, uh, that he knows about the V organization or, 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 um, or he is a part of it at least. I don't know. Um, maybe it seems like he he does play his part in being the chairman of ccg but it just doesn't seem like there's more to him than that you know it seems like he's a pretty straightforward character it, it kind of reminds me of kijima where a lot of people thought oh kijima is like a member of e whatnot and the next thing you know he dies like really like really fast it was he was just a, a distraction for what was actually going on in the story um in that moment um and so i think that suna yoshi might be the same same way um Moving on to the second character whom I used to believe is a possible leader of V is none other than Akihiro Kano. Now I know most people are going to immediately click away because they're just, they don't even want to listen. They're like, Dr. Kano is definitely not with the CCG. I understand that and I don't believe him to be part of the CC, part of the, I mean, part of V organization either. I do believe he has his own intentions and they go against that of the of the V organization. But this is what I thought during the time. So basically with the recent revelation that we got of Kano possibly being the head of the ghouls, um, it seems like the doctor is still mysterious as ever. You know, he from what we know he supposedly is the leader of the ghouls. Um, it just makes him even more vague than what we already knew of him of his character um does he have you know with this being revealed um is he truly collaborating with eto and and going about her plans or does he have another motive in in mind you know and and, and don't take for a fact that yes he's not with the ccg or v doesn't mean that he can't be because we've seen traders already Furuta with the clowns and with V like and with the CCG. I mean, it's not the first case It wouldn't be the first case of somebody um, Not going about though not going about the motives that we thought, you know, so just take that in mind um, so uh, Another reason is that like without a doubt dr. Kano's influence in the story is huge uh, because of him we got Kaneki and he has progressed the story by his other actions, you know, like like capturing Rize and creating this army of half, half goals. Um, but if it is actually true that that he is the leader of the the clowns, what is his true goal? What is he trying to go after? Uh, let me show you this 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 panel here. He says, "I have a human body, but my goal is the same as yours. Shall we make practical use of our mutual advantages?" Okay, so. This is when he's talking to Algiri, and when Algiri finally meets up with him, um, it seems like he definitely 
personally, and this is why I don't believe he he is part of the the reorganization, um, because uh, Dr. Kano, it's. It, it seems like he left the CCG. Maybe I believe that Dr. Connor left the CCG and decided to do his own thing and cause this revolution, cause this this, this outbreak, um, and cause just anarchy because of what he found out about the B organization. Maybe he was in the CCG and through somehow being in the CCG, he found out about B or maybe B was trying to recruit him or something along those lines and he did not like their ideals, their motives, so he decided to leave. And and then we got the story of Tokyo Ghoul. Um, you know, it was just build up for what was Tokyo Ghoul. That's why I don't believe that he is, you know, part of E. But then again, he could be a traitor as well. Okay, like we don't really know. Um, another thing, another interesting thing about Dr. Kano is that one, he was in the CCG for for a period of time before he left, so he knows the CCG. He probably knows the the inner workings of the CCG, but also he was part of the um, the GFG, which is the Goal Research Association in Germany. He was part of this research facility before he entered, um, before he entered the C the uh, the CCG. Um, so many suppose he left because he found out about V secrets, right? Like, well, that's what I've seen in theories and stuff that some people believe that he left because he found out about V secrets. And that's what I believe as well. Um, but could it be with with seeing other characters actually being because because think about the story so far. There are so many characters that we have gotten that have just taken incredible like they've taken 180s. And next thing you know, they're actually a part of somebody else like Uta, part of the clowns. Uh, Roma, part of the clowns, Doctor Kano, who seemed like a, a normal doctor, he's, do, he's creating more half ghouls. Uh, Rize, part of E. You know, like there are so many things we don't know about certain characters, and it seems like a lot of the times with, with these characters, we are we are shown what supposedly their motive is, but it actually ends up being something entirely different. So you could just take that into mind that maybe possibly Doctor Kano does have some kind of something to do with the V organization and and then you could argue again why would the V organization want half ghouls if what they're trying to do is just create this this balance between or, or this controlled balance between half ghoul, between ghouls and humans maybe there they, maybe V organization wants to get rid of humans and ghouls maybe they just want half ghouls to reign supreme maybe the leader of V is a half ghoul I don't know I don't know um, I'm just throwing that out there. Again, I don't necessarily believe him to be or Sunayoshi to be uh, the leaders of E, but I had, you know, it's just there so you guys can interpret it the way you wanted to. Um, and yeah, here's this this other picture here where um, where this other panel where Dr. Kano says to Kaneki to to, uh, to follow him and he'll show him the world as it truly is. Uh, so yeah but i don't know let me know what you guys think so the third character who i is the least likely in my opinion to be the leader of v is none other than donato porpora if you guys don't remember donato porpora is also known as the priest or the father of amon and who was arrested was captured by Ko kokuria um after he was exposed for actually being a ghoul and killing a bunch of the orphans and the the kids that he had in his church so um here's an interesting reason as to why i believe he could may you know he could have been the leader of e so first off he is been locked up for in, in kokuria for years i mean when he got captured amon was very young so it's been more than at least more maybe around 10 years or maybe a bit more and during this whole time he's been locked up in there for so many years and yet he knows so much about the outside world and of ghouls themselves um that he hasn't been disposed of you know because of his information the ccg hasn't gotten rid of him yet but how does he obtain this information like how does he get it now 
you can argue there was a certain I think piece where it was like Hinami's writings where the reason the way that ghouls pretty much knew about the outside world was like through communi through talking to each other when they had time together and everything but Donato seems to know way 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 more than any other ghoul that we know in the series so far he just he seems to know everything that is going on is it just because of who of the kind of character that he is or maybe maybe it's all a ruse and he actually might maybe be a high up leader in the V organization and he just stays there to to play to play dummy to to be the most unsuspicious character you could think of you know cuz you wouldn't think okay why would the leader of V trap himself in the in the in in the most secure protected facility in the CCG why would they do that well if you think about it he wouldn't be exposed to anybody he wouldn't have to go through anything and he could still do the things he has to do or he wants to do and still operate inside of a jail kind of like take this into a real world perspective where there's a lot of like drug lords and drug dealers that stay they go to jail and they stay in jail because it's just easier being in jail and being able to operate and do certain things do their 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 things whatever they do um and and remain in jail where they're fine than being outside and, and, and get exposed of getting caught and and um, being being in a jail where where there isn't as much corruption, you know what I mean. So maybe again, I don't necessarily believe it, but it could be possible. Um, also, with the recent revelation of V, uh, why is it you know why is it that they still need? Okay, okay. Here's here's this second point. With the recent revelation of V, why is it that they still need Donato when they supposedly should know everything that's going on between humans and ghouls? When I'm talking here is pretty much we have come to know that the V organization is the know all say all of both hum of of ghouls at least for the matter, but it seems like for humans as well. So it seems like they control the balance of, of ghouls and humans and what they do is they try to um get rid of as many ghouls as they can, but at the same time, um keep themselves whichever ones are ghouls and whichever ones are not in the V organization keep themselves alive right so by eating humans and everything so they should know most of the whereabouts and 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 what's going on when it comes to society itself when it comes to humans and when it comes to ghouls so why would it be that they they, they would keep Donato why why would they need Donato you know if they have members in the CCG who obviously are members of V and they should know it, most of everything that's going on why would they keep Donato? It's it seems kind of redundant in my opinion. Um, so could it be a disguise for Donato to remain unsuspicious for them to keep Donato in Kokuria alive all these years? Because think about it, Donato is incredibly smart for him for for who he is. He's he's very cunning. He's insane, but he's he's highly intelligent and he seems to know everything that's going on. So, just throwing that out there. Just throwing that out there. Uh, and another thing, another really interesting thing, little tidbit here is, during the interview between Amon and Donato, right before Amon leaves, Donato tells him that he should be chasing Alice instead of the White Rabbit. In Tokyo Ghoul, this message has always kind of left me puzzled. And especially now and with this whole little presentation, it's left, me, it's left me even more conflicted and confused because <clears throat> I used to believe that when Donato is mentioning this, you should be chasing Alice instead of the White Rabbit. It means you should take a look at the outside. You should take a step back and look at the situation as to what's going on between the humans and the ghouls instead of having this one track mind and chasing after the ghouls. Because think about Arima's mentality and his motives during the series and how they, they changed pretty much at the end where he had this one track mind in the beginning where it was get rid of ghouls as easily as you can and as many ghouls as you can. It's just wipe them all out. They're unnecessary. They don't need to be here. But from encountering Kaneki and all the other experiences he had with the ghouls and Kurona and you know those other people who were part of the CCG and and 
ended up turning into half goal somehow. All those experiences, they started to change his perspective and started to change the way he thought about goals. So this is what I thought Donato was telling him. He, it was, he was basically telling him there's more to it than meets the eye. Don't look at the, don't look at the problem the way you're looking at it now. Take a step back and look at both sides of the situation with the ghouls and with the CCG and chase after the, the main problem. And I think he was kind of hinting maybe going after something along the lines of V. Okay. But if it is true that he might be a high up leader or the leader of of the v organization could he have done this just to drive amon away to st to to um start chasing the wrong thing make him run and make him basically like run in circles not being able to find an answer so that donato wouldn't have uh amon you know preoccupied with finding out more about the goals in the in the in the human situation could be I, i'm not sure then again i don't really necessarily know how to interpret this alice white rabbit deal it's always kind of left me puzzled but that's how that's the way i i've i've always interpreted it but um but yeah that's that's what i got with donato again i don't necessarily believe that he he could be the the um the one i the the one i king the the leader of the and um I don't even know if there is even a leader to begin with. Maybe there's multiple leaders. Maybe it's kind of like a group type of thing where we have like a, a group of t five to ten leaders that run the whole thing. Or maybe, or maybe there's just one. We don't really know for sure. And there's another thing that we can we can't really say for sure is that V the if there is a leader of E, he could either be a human, he could either be a ghoul, or he could be a half ghoul, for all we know. So I don't know. But, but that's all I have for this video. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below what you guys think. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.